What is up everyone? This is Sorkin09 and this is going to be a video explaining all about the eggs and the pixelings. Hopefully I will cover everything that you need to know about these eggs and hopefully answer all the questions that you may have as well. So stay tuned. If I missed anything, feel free to ask questions down in the comment section below. But until then, let's get started. First of all, we have received these eggs from the 1.9.0 update and it is a mystery egg update that everybody actually likes because now it gives us more things to do in the game. First of all, let me go ahead and get this eagle. So the mystery egg update, what is it exactly? Well, first of all, it is inspired by Pokemon and as well as Digimon for you to collect your digital pet. So, what you need to do is that you need to have the egg tokens that you would receive from either the daily rewards, the puggle game, or from the sponsor eagle. And as well as that with the tokens, you will be able to go to the egg dispenser and get yourself an egg. You get the white eggs which are the common eggs, the golden eggs which are the uncommon eggs, and of course the crystal eggs which are the rare eggs. So what you would get is completely random. So from there you'll be able to get the egg and then what you need to do is that you go to the nest and place the egg into the room. Now you already see that one of them is pretty much near hatching and one of them I need to actually hit with a hammer. Which is kind of weird to think about it but that's how you actually hatch these eggs. Now, first of all, another sponsor eagle. Let's see if I'll actually get another egg token out of this. If so then hooray, if not then oh well. And nope, not at all. Now, some questions that people have asked that how do you hatch these eggs? Well, what you need to do is that you need to find the trend that they want and it's not completely random because the pixeling inside that egg actually has to associated with that trend. So if I were to hatch this egg right now, then you will see that it's gonna have the dark, well dark trend or dark Pacific type of thing that deals with this pixeling. Now, there are other questions I can answer that are these pixelings any good do they benefit you why yes yes they do so let's go ahead and hatch one right now after this eagle of course because otherwise you would hear this blaring eagle in the background and of course i accidentally hit the egg nice i got nothing out of that eagle but at least i'll answer that question that how do you know when it's time to actually hit it with a hammer or when it's time to hatch obviously you saw the icons earlier so at least it gives you an indication that it is ready to get hit with a hammer or is nearly ready to hatch but let's go ahead and hatch this one right now it's hatching tap the egg to hatch it and now that i was not expecting i was not expecting any sound effect from that that's cool though that is absolutely cool and that's quite fitting I'm going to use this as part of the thumbnail now. Okay, alright. So, you see that it is actually dark, which was the trending of that egg. So again, it's not completely random. If you get that trend, then you get the actual pixeling that's associated with that. Now back to the room, and I did not see it anywhere. Oh, there you are. There you are. Okay, so I could actually move you, but you're going to move on your own anyway, so it doesn't even matter where I place you. Unless you could actually lock them in place, I don't know, but just look at them go. And another sponsor eagle. So how do these eggs work? First of all, as I said before, that you have to go to an egg dispenser, use your egg tokens, and let's see what you're going to get. And looks like I actually got myself a golden egg or an uncommon egg. And that is loud. That was actually loud. I was not expecting that. Good thing I could actually toggle the volume in the post-production editing. So let's go ahead and incubate. And we could place it anywhere that we want. So I'm just going to place it right here next to the other eggs. And it's actually pretty good because it actually goes to the freebie. The other two spots, you actually have to pay using the actual bucks. So it's advisable not to actually use it on the common eggs. Use it on the rare or the uncommon eggs. Because once these two eggs hatch, I'm going to have to spend more bucks on these. But in any case, you could see that there is nothing that you could tell what trend it has. You have to find that for yourself by trial and error. Hopefully you find it as soon as possible, and if not, then you're going to have to keep trying. But the only way for it to work is if you were to create any video that has that trend. So let me go ahead and get this out of the way. And looks like the dark, dark, dark comedy, whatever to call it, is actually trending, including gaming and as well as home style. 
And since the other two eggs either have common in gaming, I'll be able to actually search that up. Maybe the actual golden egg actually has one of those trends as well, but you just never know unless you were to try. Now, let us see, let us see. I'm gonna go ahead and do comedy. Hopefully that's actually the correct one. And let's see here. There is animals and as well as nature. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. And then I'm gonna go guess either beauty or science. So I could get all that out of the way. And it looks like I made the correct choice because the golden egg actually likes beauty videos. So that's how you can actually tell. It tells you right off the bat if you chose the correct one. And I have one of them already in the process of being made. And you could actually see the other egg actually has comedy. So you could tell that that's actually a good indication that it's incubating right now. And lucky for me though, that the golden egg actually likes both dark and as well as beauty and that is awesome and especially when it's also trending so the question is how does incubation work exactly well of course there are three types of eggs and each of them takes a specific amount of time for it to hatch the white eggs or the common eggs it would take three hammer wax of course as you saw the hammer on the last one before I accidentally pressed it but hey that it takes three hammer wax as well as two days of incubation time the uncommon eggs or the golden eggs take four hammer wax and as well as four days of incubation time to hatch. And then the crystal eggs or the rare eggs takes five hammer wax and eight days of incubation time to hatch. And by incubation days, it fully means the complete hours of the day. So with the white eggs, it'd be 48 hours. With the golden eggs, it'd be 96 hours. And then with the crystal eggs, it'd be 192 hours. So how does that work? How do you actually shorten the time? Of course, that you have to do the category of whichever is trending. And one hour equals one hour. I'm going to try to explain this as carefully and clearly as possible so hopefully you guys can understand as well and I will put text on the screen to illustrate that all the eggs of course have their each category and you have to make videos to help them hatch and we'll take the white egg for example that it takes 48 hours of the desired category for it to hatch and you may be thinking why not just make 12 videos each being 4 hours long to do this that's not how it works it's not as simple as that and I wish it was as simple as that. Now, if you were to have one video, that's already at 100% incubation points, meaning that one hour will equal to one hour. Now, if you were to create a second video while the first video is going that has the same category for the desired egg, you would think that would be at 200%. Nope, it's only 33%. So, from the first video and the second video, that equals up to 133%. Now, if we were to add a third video, that's another 33%. So, that turns up to 166%. And then, of course, that in the trending tab with either three videos or three categories, if one of them happens to be the exact same category for your egg, then it will actually bump it up another 33%, which I believe they actually rounded up to a full 200%. So in order enough for you to speed up the process by double, you need to have three videos with the same category and as well as that it's also trending for daily. So that's how it works. So it may seem like the egg is taking forever to hatch. It is because you actually have to keep making the same videos all at the same time. It has to be simultaneously. Otherwise, then it's just not going to have that boost advantage. So if you just spread the videos out little by little by little, then that's just how it's going to work. It's only going to do the incubation little bit by little bit by little bit. So your best bet would to hopefully have the trending tab be the actual trending topic for your egg. If not, then it's not gonna speed up the process. And even if it's also trending, it's only gonna add 33%. So if I were to make one video that's trending with the dark category, it's only gonna give it 133%. And then of course, if I add two more videos with also dark, it's gonna add in the 33% respectively for each video going at the same time. And also, if one video is published, it deletes that 33% automatically. And of course, that if you have all three gone, then it's going to go back to 0%. And even if it's also trending on the top in the categories, nothing's going to happen unless you actually create one video that has the trending topic. So just think of the trending thing on the very, very top as just being a bonus until you create a video that has it. So hopefully I explained that well because... 
I had no idea how to even just break that down as well. It got confusing at first when I actually read about it. So in other words, if you want to double your time to actually get the egg hatch faster, you would have to get three videos going at the same time, plus it actually being the daily trend or enough to boost it up to 200% for the egg to hatch. So theoretically, you could actually have the egg hatch in a day, at least for the white egg, the common egg that is going to be 48 hours down to 24 hours if you happen to get a video 20 hours, 20 hours, 20 hours, and then you got the trending going on. Or you could do two sets of 10 hours if they all have trending. But again, that's more technical. And but the chances of that happening is pretty much slim to none with a low percentage. So don't worry about always going for the same category. It's best that you have three eggs going at the same time so that you could just divide everything with this proper trend. So that's how it's going to work. And that's what I could tell you. But keep in mind that you have to completely be active in publishing more and more videos. So you have to keep making more videos for the timer to go down. It will automatically stop when there's no more videos being made. So if you were to leave the game, then of course it's not going to hatch on its own. Especially when you have to keep hitting your eggs with a hammer. So that's one thing for you. And at least or some eggs actually has two categories so theoretically i believe you could actually double that as well if you get two of the same trends in one video and as well as that it also happens to be the same two trends on the very top of the three trends it's kind of confusing whenever i say trends i just noticed that right now so again i really really hope i explained everything fine and if by chance you have forgotten the information about your pixeling, you can either highlight it to see what category they are in, or that you could actually go to your inventory and then look them up in the pixeling section or pixeling tab to know the name, what egg it came out of, how many you have, and what does it do. You'll see that there's a boost perk right there, which would give me 6% subscriber. And it's permanent. It's completely permanent. So let me go ahead and go to my name, and then we'll go down to the actual category. You'll see that it's no longer at 500%, but now 506%. And also, a great joy to learn that it's also permanent. And you don't actually have to have the pixeling in your room to receive the benefits. You could put it away in your inventory, never to be seen again, which I don't know why you would do that. That would be evil of you. But it will always be there. You will always have the benefit and they also stack. So if you were to have two or three of the same things, just keep on adding that 6% every time you receive one of them. And be sure to collect them all. And do you want to know how many pixelings there are? There are currently 26 pixelings for you to collect as of now. They will be adding more pixelings, and especially special event only pixelings. Be active in the game, get as many pixelings as you can before they make even more pixelings be added in there. And it's only a limited time only once they do that, and once it's gone, it's gone, you can no longer get them. So, if you want to know any more updates or anything that's happening with the game, follow Outer Minds on Twitter. So for a recap, we have a mystery egg update. How you get the eggs is that you play the game daily, that you get the daily rewards, or you could actually get the egg tokens from Sponsor Eagles, or by playing Puggle. And once you have three, you go to the nest menu, you go to the egg dispenser, and then you spend three tokens getting yourself an egg. It's completely random that you have the white eggs or the common eggs, you got the golden eggs or the uncommon eggs, and then you have the crystal eggs or the rare eggs. So after that, then you could actually place it onto a nest. And you have two other nests, but the thing is you actually have to spend bucks on using those nests. And I recommend only saving that for the uncommon eggs or the actual rare eggs. So the golden eggs or the crystal eggs, unless you really don't care about all the bucks you have, then by all means spend them as you please. So once you do that, you can actually place it into the room because you have to leave it in the room for it to actually be incubated. And the only way for it to be incubated is if you create the video that has the trend. And it will not tell you the trend, you have to find the trend. So it's a pick and choose trial and error until you find the trend. And once you find the trend that the egg likes, then focus all of your attention in making the same videos that has the trends for that. 
And the more videos you have going on at the same time with the same trend, the faster it will actually take for the incubation to occur. And each of them has their own specific time that the uncommon eggs or the white eggs take 48 hours, the golden eggs or uncommon eggs take 96 hours, and then the rare eggs or crystal eggs take 192 hours. So it's going to take a lot of time, it's going to take a lot of patience, but once the egg hatches, then you get yourself the pixling that also is associated with the trend that it likes. Just like Omi here, if that's how you pronounce it. So it's dark, you get dark benefits, so each pixling has their own benefits that it gives you, whether it be more views or subscribers and things like that, and they completely stack up that you don't actually have to have the pixeling in your room for it to be activated. It's permanent, it stacks up, and if you were to leave it in your room, it roams around freely. So it's like adorable little pet that you don't have to feed. So just leave it alone, let it do whatever it wants, and just watch it go. Create a maze, why don't you, and see if it actually gets to the finish line. Now that would be interesting to see. And currently, there are only 26 pixelings you could collect, but they are going to be making more, But so be active in playing the game, because there are going to be special event only pixelings that you can only get for a limited time, so keep an eye on that, follow Outer Minds on Twitter as well. So hopefully I answered any and all of your questions about the eggs, the pixelings, and other things that you may be wondering about. And the main point of the video was to pretty much explain the technical part of hatching the eggs. A lot of people have asked, how do you hatch the eggs? Why won't they hatch? Why is it taking so long? How can you make this faster? So again, I hope that this video explained everything well, and if you still have any more questions, feel free to comment down below, and if I can answer it, then I will, and if not, then... I hope that the developers of the game actually step in and answer the questions as well. Again, you can also ask them on Twitter if you have any questions about this game as well. And I want to give a special thanks to the developers of Outer Minds for providing the information to me so that I could actually tell you guys more about the eggs update. Without them, this video would not have been possible. So special thanks to them and I appreciate the time and as well as for them answering any questions I have had so that I could help you guys figure out more about these eggs as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope this video also helped you a lot in this game. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give this video a like. And also share it with anyone who actually has questions about the eggs as well. And of course, as always, if you want to state your Tuber Simulator name and network on the comment section below, feel free to do so. Add each other, send each other gifts, and have fun with the game. And I cannot wait to see any more of the actual pixelings, especially the special event pixelings, in the game. So be sure to collect them all and maybe we'll have even more updates that involves more pixelings and as well as more items, levels, and other customizationable type of things we could actually add on to our characters. But until then, I am Sword King Zeran Zero. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you guys next time in a new video or live stream.